Hi, Evelina. My name is Ellen, and I'll be correcting these essays for you. Let's take a look at what you've written here. It's your first set, schools, whether they should entertain or be academic. Let's see what you wrote. Part of society believes that the learning process should contain an entertainment aspect, while others reckon it is completely unnecessary. In my view, this approach could be extremely effective and have a positive income. Outcome. Did I say income? Sorry. A positive outcome. In this essay, I will discuss both sides using examples from Korean education and Swedish studies to demonstrate points and support arguments. All right. So let's see. Um, I would recommend not using the word reckon. It feels a couple of things. It feels a little too informal. It feels a little too old fashioned. We don't really use it anymore. So I would switch that. Number one. Uh, you could have said that others support. While others support, it is completely unnecessary, okay? Or others maintain, it is completely unnecessary. That's the first thing. The second thing is, is let's look at the question. It says, which do you agree with? Okay, and you said this approach could be effective. Um, and then you tell us you're going to discuss both sides. Why are you going to discuss both sides if you've told us that it could be effective. It only asks you which one do you agree with. So then why are you going to bother writing us about both sides? Writing about both sides, that's what I want to say. You understand? So when the essay asks you which do you agree with, if you're going to talk about the side that you supposedly don't agree with, there should be a reason for it. Um, if you can justify it in your introduction, then go ahead and do it. Okay, you could say something like, in this essay, I will discuss uh, the merits of both arguments uh, and on the whole, why I, why I believe that X, Y, Z. Okay, so that would make sense, all right? But um, you have to put it in that perspective. Like, otherwise it just seems like irrelevant information. Now, the second thing, or rather the next thing I want to talk about is, you said this approach could be effective. This confused me because you talked about two approaches. You said part believes it should contain and then part says it is unnecessary. Um, so which approach, the, fa the, one, the approach that says it's unnecessary or the approach that says it should contain entertainment? It wasn't entirely clear to me. I had to kind of, I mean, I knew probably what you wanted to say, but it still just wasn't really clear the way it was written. So be careful about that. Aim for better clarity. All right, let's talk about your body paragraphs now. All right, moving on now. On the one hand, I think that the main purpose of educational institutions is to maximize the accomplishment level among students, which for many decades has been achieved through repetition, dedication, and assessment. This is the most important factor due to the fact that accurately measured self-improvement is the gist of the whole concept of education. For example, Korean model of educational development, which is very successful and at the same time stressful, depends on constant testing and evaluation. Therefore, the strict method of learning, even though it is exhausting, seems to be fully justified. All right, so a couple of things here. Um, I didn't like the word gist. I would have said uh, accurately measured self-improvement is the concept behind education, okay? And then the Korean model. Um, I have some questions regarding why you decided to mention the stress and mention the exhaustion of this method. I didn't really understand that. I want to see how you developed your next paragraph to see if that makes sense. Mm, let's see. Okay, but yeah, all right, it's fine for now. I want to look at the next paragraph then. On the other hand, providing a welcoming environment with teachers who really have a passion towards teaching can ignite a spark of curiosity in young minds, which is the first crucial step in learning and encourage them to care about education. Okay, we have to break this paragraph, this, sorry, this sentence down because it's too long and the meaning is lost. So let's try it again. On the other hand, providing a welcoming environment with teachers who really have a passion towards teaching can ignite a spark of curiosity in young minds. Stop here. This is the first crucial step in learning, which can encourage them to care about education. 
Okay, so far I haven't heard anything about entertainment, just about passionate teachers. Okay, so careful. I'm already concerned that this isn't off topic. This positive influence on motivation levels can determine what pupils learn and how much they retain. Nothing about entertainment. For instance, recent studies in Sweden have shown teachers who implement jokes in lessons make students more interested and involved in schoolwork. There it is. First time we hear about fun and entertainment. Thus, learning as a fun experience could be immensely beneficial. So you can see what the problem with this paragraph is. It, the first half of it has very little, if anything, to do with the topic. You're supposed to talk about how school should be more entertaining, but instead you don't. And so a lot of the information in this paragraph feels irrelevant. Okay, you needed more of what's down here to make this paragraph focused on what's supposed to be focused on. Let's continue. To conclusion, the examples and arguments given, I firmly believe that schools should use elements of fun in a course of study. It is predicted that students properly encouraged will stay curious and keep coming back for more. Okay, so I think you get the point. You needed to take the ideas and the focus on entertainment and start it from the beginning of this paragraph. Okay, um, let's see. Still, I don't understand why you decided to discuss both sides. I mean, it's okay that you did, but you needed to make your position very clear, and you didn't, all right? So what you want to say, let's talk about what you could have done here. Uh, part of society believes that the learning process should contain an entertainment aspect, while others reckon it is completely unnecessary. In my view... While traditionally the academic only focus has proven effective, more and more it is clear that entertainment must be also included in education. In this essay, I will discuss both sides, etc., etc. All right, that's how you have to do it because this is exactly how you developed your par your paragraphs, and so your introduction needs to reflect that. Okay, so that's what I want to see in this uh, introduction. Let's look at the enjoyable activity with a child. The world, which is constantly improving, has forced a new generation to be prepared for quick adaptation. This can be accomplished by developing several life essential skills, such as creative thinking and problem solving. In my opinion, this course of action is crucial for humanity to attain success. But how exactly can we achieve it? In this essay, I will elaborate on that matter, comparing two methods, such as enjoyable activities and reading. Also, I will use examples from German studies and global education programs to demonstrate points and support arguments. Okay. Um, for an introduction, it's nice, but I'm going to advise that you economize. It's a rather long paragraph, and there's really no reason to do all of this in an introduction. I want to let you know what the introduction essentially needs to have. It needs to do two things. It needs to rephrase the topic and it needs to present your position. Your position is the answer to the question, okay? Um, that's essentially it. And so you don't wanna to spend too much time or too much effort on the introduction. In fact, it's not even anywhere in the band descriptors except for kind of indirectly when it says a clear position must be expressed throughout the essay. Um, so that's the first thing. It's too long and I really would like you to keep it shorter, more condensed. The second thing is, is that it really took a while for you to get to what the essay was about. And even when you did mention enjoyable activities versus reading, it didn't feel like that was what the topic was about. Okay, it felt like this was just the, these were just the examples you were going to use to prove your point on how we can develop skills. But that's not what this essay is about, okay? This essay is not about just developing life, uh, life skills. It's not about how we can improve as human beings, but it's more specific. It's about children and it's about what activities help them develop better skills and creativity? Is it reading or is it enjoyable activities? That's what this essay is about, and that's how you have to present your introduction. Because I want you to imagine this. When I look at your introduction, 
I should be able to figure out what the question is without even looking at the question. When I look at your introduction, I cannot do that. Okay? So keep that in mind. All right, you want to produce an introduction that uh, where the person reading it can imagine what the question is, or at least approximate it, without having, having read the question. All right, let's move on. Firstly, I believe that reading might be an insufficient tool to increase. Hold on a second. Let's go back to the introduction. <laughs> Sorry. There's really a lot to unpack here. Now, it says, to what extent do you agree? That's the question that you have to answer. What did you say? This can be several, such as. You didn't really tell us. You told us that you're going to compare them, but you didn't really answer the question. You said, I'm so confused. Yeah, your position wasn't clear. Okay, so that's the other problem here. I know that you're going to talk about reading. I know you're going to talk about enjoyable activities, but I still don't know what your opinion is. Does an enjoyable activity with a child develop better skills and creativity than reading? That's what you need to be answering. Okay, Evelina? So you need you to make that absolutely crystal clear. So, firstly, I believe that reading might be an insufficient tool to increase creativity and teach practical abilities. This is largely because it is a passive activity, which to numerous children could be unattractive, especially when the content is long, tedious, and tiresome. For example, German studies have shown that pupils who had read the rules of chess without practicing the game were unable to beat opponents with practical backgrounds. Therefore, learning by heart might be an ineffective method of gaining abilities. Okay. Um, fine. Although I don't, when they say reading, I don't interpret this as being reading to memorize facts. Okay. Learning by heart, as you said. I never interpreted it as that. I interpreted it as reading in general, like as an activity and not ex exactly this. So you really narrowed it down. Okay, that's fine. Let's continue and, and, and see what else you said. Secondly, I think that the highest level of creativity can be reached by an active approach, which engages both students and teachers due to the fact that learning through action is more memorable and effective. For instance, Odyssey of the Mind, which is a very successful international program, teaches children how to develop and use creativity, not creativeness, creativity to solve problems. Thus, this shows how adorable ways can create necessary skills in the chain of reality. Okay. All right. To conclude from the examples and arguments given, I firmly claim that reading is an inadequate approach to acquiring knowledge and creating skills. It is predicted that exciting and intriguing activities will be more popular in schools. Okay. So here's my thoughts about this. The grammar is very nice. The vocabulary is very good. All this was very good. I feel like what's missing in this essay of Alina is task achievement. I feel like you're not quite grasping what the question is. And if you are grasping it, then you're not creating essays that firmly focus on the area of the question that has been asked. So let me give you some ideas about how this essay probably should have or could have been developed. Now, it seems to me like you think that reading is not an adequate way to develop skills and creativity. Okay. Um, maybe it has some merit. Let's assume for a moment that it does have some merit, but um, children gain further and greater skills through doing enjoyable activities, okay? So let's pretend for a moment that this is your thesis. Um, if you were to write that, then you could have said that um, reading has been believed by many to be a wonderful activity uh, to help develop children's um, vocabulary and creative thinking. Uh, when reading, uh, or rather children who read or are read to have a 30% better vocabulary than children who do not have um, access to books in their free time, okay? Additionally, 
children who read uh, score better on creativity tests. They have uh, a broader imagination and are more, uh, and they are, they score better at problem solving activities. Um, and it is believed that this is associated to the use of imagination through reading stories. Okay, so that's how you could have done that. And then you could have said, um, although there is a case for reading and how it develops children's skills, um, the importance of enjoyable activities in childhood cannot be overstated. So then you can talk about, say, for example, sports, that when children play sports, this develops hand-eye coordination, it develops physical fitness, and it also develops sportsmanship. They learn how to lose, they learn how to be um competitive and good winners but also how to lose with grace okay and then you can develop all of that you can also talk about artwork and how when children are allowed to draw or encouraged to draw um this expands their imagination it also develops uh, fine motor skills etc cetera, etc cetera. so these are the kinds of things that we expect to see in an essay like this all right and so that's just to give you some ideas about how these uh, essays can be developed, okay? And what we mean when we say focus on the question, all right? This is the kind of information that I'm looking to see in this essay, okay? Uh, um, a combination of skills discussed and the activities that produce them as well as creativity. All right, so let's see what I want from you now. I want you to correct these. I want you to send them back to us. I want, using the information in this correction, uh, begin your error correction list and let's see another set of essays from you, okay? I'd be looking forward to it, so good luck.